very good morning to one and all. Well, I'm here today. You know, all this while I was pretty excited about coming to my school and talking to you all. Now it feels a little scary. I mean, I know the school, I know it's my school, it's my people all around. But facing you all today, Superstars, it's a little unnerving. Anyways, um, I'm Devanjana Sinaroy. I may look a dinosaur to you when I say that I belong to the school because I belong to the 2001 ICSE batch. Okay, presently I am a teacher facilitator at South Point High School, but that's all irrelevant. What is relevant today is why we are here. Okay, so we are here to celebrate Ma'am's birthday and Joya Ma'am, one of the kindest souls on earth. I would say a human manifestation of mother's blessings, you know. I'm sure you have heard a lot about her, uh, how noble a soul she is. No, my tense is not wrong. Uh, I prefer is because I feel she's still here somewhere, lurking around and watching all of us. So, the kindest soul ever and how she has contributed to the world of education, her uh, interaction with children, I'm sure you know about it. But since I'm here to share a very personal account, I would say my very intimate moment with her, like what I learned from her one particular day. It was in the year, I guess, 1996, because I was in class 6 then. It was a Monday. And the previous night being a Sunday, it was a blockbuster Sunday on Zee Cinema. Now during those days, uh, we didn't have these, what do you call it, these time zones and playstations and all that, we didn't have that. So recreation only meant playing. There used to play a lot of Coco in school right here. And um, watching a little bit of television sometimes. So uh, that night, that Sunday, I had watched this movie called You Are. And the next day I come to school and the Nimcom poop that I am, I cut out a small piece of paper in an oval shape and I write 786 on it and I tie it with a string and I wear it on my left arm, okay, upper arm. I was so much into the character of this angry young man. I literally uh, was into the role and I wore that and where? here in school, right before the assembly, okay? What audacity, uh, yeah. And I didn't stop at that. I wrote, that was in class 6, we were just learning Hindi. Neelu ma'am was our teacher. So I wrote here, in my inner wrist, the words which was uh, there on the hero's wrist, Mera Baap Chor Hai, without understanding anything. I know that, yes. Yeah, the idiot that I am, yeah. Uh, so I wrote that and I, I come to the assembly that way and I pull out my shirt and I tie a knot, you know, and obviously I'm sure you all know nobody on earth can escape the hawk eyes of Misha sir. So obviously he pulled me out and after a brief rebuke, I guess I appeared so fanciful a character, he presented me to Joya ma'am, literally served nicely on a tray. So there I was in her office room, this elegant lady, she was sitting right near me and I was shivering, I literally went back to my bed wedding days and uh, I was like, I'll never do it again, just let me go. So she was like, no, it's, it's okay, have a glass of water. She offered me a glass of water. I sat and then she said, what is this character that you are playing? I'm very curious to know. What is the name of this character? So I told her the name of this character is Vijay, but I will not do it again. She so said, it's okay. Tell me about the character. Slowly, I started getting comfortable and in my excitement, okay, and my foolishness, I literally narrated the entire plot to her. She very patiently listened to it. And then she asked me, what is it that moved you so much about this character and I blurted out my heart to her. Then she asked me, um, do you prefer this ending? Would you have preferred a different ending, you know, a happy one? What do you feel about the tragic end of the character? Do you like it? So I said, no. 
said, would you have preferred a happy ending? So I, I nodded in, you know, in affirmation. And then she said that, okay, she was the one. Remember, this was in class six. I was like 11 or 12 year old, sir. And she made me realize that it's not destiny. It's our choice in life which defines the consequences that we face in life. And she did it in such a simple way that I could relate to it even at that age, you know. So there she was and so nicely, so eloquently, so elaborately she made me understand each and every little nuance of life and I understood and I was handed two candies and I was sent back to class. Several years later I got to know that my mother was called after the incident but my mother was advised to buy me books and to nurture my apparently fertile imagination. So that's her. I mean, she can relate to everything. She could come, she could sit, she could chat with anyone and everyone in such an intimate way. You will feel absolutely personal in her presence. And I'm sure she's there still. You know, bless yourselves that this is your second home. And to ma'am, ma'am, wherever you are, the torch that you've lighted, it still glows and it definitely lights up the paths of the wayfarers. Thank you so much. It has really been a pleasure to come here. Thank you all the teachers. Thank you my dear students. Thank you sir. Thanks a lot.